Connecticut Light and Power is taking extra precautions in Stamford during the storm. At its substation at Pacific and Manhattan Street, CLNP crews are building a six-foot wall of two-ton concrete blocks to protect the area from any possible flooding. We prepare for the worst and hope for the best. CLNP's president says during Hurricane Irene, the company didn't have any flooding issues at the substation, but he says it may be at risk because of high tides, which could impact the power base's 8,000 customers. One of the important things that we want to make sure we do is to preserve uh, the electrical supply to this part of the state. This is what we're already starting to see here in Stamford. High tides came in at around 1140 this morning and down here on Davenport Street, it appears there's about a foot of water over the road and cars have already tried to pass through this area. Stamford Mayor Michael Pavia called for a mandatory evacuation for residents who live in slosh areas one and two and strongly encourages those who live in areas three and four to also evacuate. This hybrid, this whatever you want to call it, hurricane, uh, has created some unprecedented conditions that we really have to heed. The National Weather Service has issued a coastal flood warning beginning in Stamford around midnight. Governor Daniel Malloy has warned residents to stay away from floodwaters as they are dangerous and has urged all residents to stay indoors. Stay with It's Relevant for more updates on Hurricane Sandy. Christina Chiarelli, itsrelevant.com.